Namaste fam, Wolfcore here, coming at you with a little vloggity vlog. God, I miss doing these. I really, really missed making these little vlogs. And uh, yeah, last time uh, we did this was the day that I started streaming again, the end of our break. And just some, uh, just some life events have happened, just some, some things that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's just jump into it. So of course we started streaming again and it has been great. We have been streaming Monster Hunter World over on Twitch. If you are not aware yet, please go over to Twitch, hit the follow button. It's the same as subscribing on YouTube and make sure to hit the notifications button so that you know when I'm live so that you don't miss the live streams. And I have been posting uh, videos of the live streams to YouTube. So if you guys can't make it, you can at least watch it and uh, yeah. So that's been really, really great. I'm absolutely loving Monster Hunter World. It's such a fun game. Super, super addictive. Like, I, I seriously can't stop playing it. I'm going to go play it right after this. I actually wanted to stream tonight, but uh, it was kind of a, a long day at work, and I didn't get home until like 7 o'clock, and I was like, ah, there's just no way I can stream tonight. But I had some some just life stuff happen, so I was like, fuck it. You know, I'll make a quick vlog. And uh, just because I've missed doing this so much, just opening up with you guys and... Uh, just uh, connecting about real life stuff. And uh, so what's actually going on? Well, some work stuff has just been happening. And uh, well, where to start? I just hit my one year anniversary as an electrician, or at least I'm going to this month at some point. And I am getting a raise, which is fantastic because I fucking need it. Oh my gosh. And I'm finally like getting to a point where I'm making good enough money that my life is going to be more stable and it's just going to be fantastic. But uh, I was actually pushing for, I had this idea in my head um, for the past couple months because uh, my business partner, my dad, he, uh, he's been charging recently $48 an hour for my services as an electrician. And I was like, He's charging $48 an hour for my services as an electrician, and I'm only getting $16 an hour? Like, hmm, hmm. But, uh, I mean, it's very flattering to be knowing that, you know, I'm basically worth $50 an hour as an electrician after just one year. Like, that feels really good right there alone. But I got it uh, in my head that I would uh, try and negotiate for a higher wage. Um because I'm going to get a $2 an hour raise, which is already great. I'm going to go from 16 up to 18 uh, this month. And I was like, but I was still like, you know, I'm still only making like a third of what I'm bringing into the company. So I decided I was going to try and negotiate for half. I wanted to get 50% of what I was bringing in. So if I'm making $48 an hour as an electrician, I would make $24 an hour personally. And that other 24 would go to, you know, supporting him for doing all the work that he does and having built the business and everything and uh yeah so I had like this whole presentation in my mind that I've been working on for like three months and we finally uh you know sit down he writes me my paycheck and I was like I have something I want to talk to you about so I give him this whole spiel which only lasted like 45 seconds but in my mind it was gonna last for like five minutes and he would just be stunned and be like of course shake my hand. You're now a richer man, Wolfgore. But uh, it didn't go like that as life tends to not do. He was like, you know, I see where you're coming from and you are doing well, but you're about to start electrician school and that's going to cost me like $5,000 a year for four years. And I was like, that's a really good counterpoint. I don't really have anything prepared to, uh, to uh to counter back with so uh touche sir i shall take my two dollar an hour raise and uh and then we talked a little while longer and i was like hypothetically if i were to find a way to pay for school myself like there's i know student aid in california could would there still be something to talk about and he's like maybe you know look into it see see what that is and i'm like hmm so if i could get student aid basically get the government to pay for me to go to school I could potentially get a huge raise that's super cool and then on top of that the other thing he said was uh, apprentice electricians usually you start off as an apprentice making 50% of what a journeyman 
you become a journeyman electrician after four years. It's a four-year apprenticeship. So if you're going to make $25 when you start out as a journeyman after four years, you'll start at roughly half that rate as an apprentice and then work your way up to the full journeyman starting out wage over the course of four years. And I was like, that seems low. Like, I don't think it's $25 an hour to start out as a journeyman because, you know, I've talked to a number of electricians and they're all talking about like, like $40 an hour, you know, roughly. It's been a lot of different conversations and I wasn't asking them this question directly, but that's definitely the vibe I got. And I'm like, okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to do some research. I'm going to find out what a starting journeyman makes non-union in California and if it's like 40 bucks an hour, I'm going to be like, okay, listen, first of all, journeymen make $40 an hour. So that means you should have started me at 20 and worked me up to 40 over the course of four years. And second of all, I'm paying for school myself because I got federal aid. So I want my raise. So um, I'm, I'm going to do it with way less sass, but uh, there might actually be a, a good bit of sass. I'm, I'm getting a little sassy with my dad, but in a fun way, you know. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that was kind of my day right there. And I, God, that would be so nice. Can you imagine? Some of you are probably like, of course I can imagine I make way more than that. But making like $25 an hour, oh baby, that's like $750 a week after taxes. I would be so comfortable. I could get out of debt before the end of the year. I could, I could do anything I want. I could get all my tattoos started. I could get my computer all pimped out. Oh, oh, the things I could do. I could put money into the channel again without having to feel bad because I don't have any money to spend. And then, uh, then on top of that, there was actually some other sort of news in the work field area of topic and discussion. Uh, we were wiring this little house for this guy like last week and the week before. And, uh, really, really nice guy. He's, he was in the National Guard. He's a pilot, or was a pilot in the National Guard for like 29 years or something. And uh, he was over in Afghanistan for like four years. He might not have been with the National Guard anymore then. He might have been just flying privately. I'm not sure, but it's tangential. Anyways, this guy, so he worked overseas for at least four years. So he kind of knew the environment of like Americans working over there. And he just kind of, you know, pulled me aside at one point and because, you know, we were getting along well, and he was just like, oh, you know, just food for thought. Um, there's companies that employ uh, servicemen, you know, uh, tradesmen, like electricians and stuff, to go work overseas building, like, infrastructure for military bases or, you know, whatever. And it pays super well. He's like, yeah, for, like, a starting journeyman, it's going to pay, like, at least $100,000 a year. Like, at least. It, he was lowballing it because he's not an electrician. You know, he's a pilot. But he's like, yeah, you get paid a lot to work overseas. And I was like, really? A lot, you say? That would be cool to make a lot of money really quickly. And then on top of that, it's like you generally work something. You know, it's going to vary depending on your particular contract in the company but something in the neighborhood of like work six weeks, go overseas, work for six weeks, probably work every day. Maybe you get like one day off a week or something. And then you take six weeks off, you come back home, but you're still getting paid like a hundred thousand dollars a year. So you can just take that six weeks off. So I could go over, you know, wire houses and do shit for like six months, bring over my phone and my video camera and get like a bunch of cool footage and film vlogs, come back, record and edit those and upload them and then just spent six weeks just focusing on like streaming and doing stuff for the channel without having to you know deal with being at work for eight hours and then coming home and being exhausted and trying to find that energy that I want to have when I make videos and uh, live stream and stuff so I think there's actually a lot of potential there and you know I would probably not be doing that as an apprentice I'd probably need to get journeyman first but it's absolutely worth looking into. I think it could be great for me, great for my finances, and great for the channel. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because that might be our uh, our schedule in the future. You know, I'm gone for six weeks and then I'm back for six weeks, which would suck to be gone for six weeks. But I think ultimately it would lead to a lot more content rather than less because I could focus exclusively on making content. And I love making content and live streaming and stuff when I don't have to work that day like it's so much easier i don't have to like put
push myself to get the energy. You know, I can just, I'm just like, oh man, I've got all this energy because I've just been home all day. Let's fucking live stream. Fuck yeah. So anyways, that's awesome. And it has tons of potential. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to catch you guys up on what's going on with me. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the stream is going great. Follow me over on Twitch if you haven't, please. And thank you. Because that's where we're, gonna, where we're gonna be doing all the streaming from now on. Because YouTube fucking sucks. Like, I love YouTube, don't get me wrong. But, like, fuck YouTube streaming service. It's terrible. It's terrible. So, we're over on Twitch now. And we're gonna be playing Monster Hunter World for the foreseeable future. I might pepper in some other games. Um, I kind of want to play They Are Billions. It's this real time strategy, sort of Age of Empires 2 steampunk slash zombie themed game which is amazing but I don't know how well it'll translate into a live stream you know I've never played a real time strategy other than Starcraft Remastered once on the channel um, so I'm not sure if we're going to do that uh, but the main thing coming up that we are going to be focusing on is World of Warcraft Remastered I am so fucking stoked. Oh my god, my dog is freaking out. Um, I am so stoked for World of Warcraft Remastered. I cannot wait. I'm going to be playing a shaman on the horde, and it's going to be awesome. And that's probably all I'm going to be doing for like a year after that comes out. So uh, I hope you guys like World of Warcraft, because that's, that's coming in this summer. And uh, I don't know if we're going to be playing Monster Hunter World until then. We'll see how long this game holds up. And Bloodborne, of course, we're going to be playing some Bloodborne. I think we're going to do a full Bloodborne playthrough this Saturday, probably starting at 5 or 6 p.m., uh, just depending. And we'll do the DLC this time. The last time, I had just come back to streaming, so my throat was getting, like, super scratchy, and I had to call it a little early. But we'll do the full thing this time. It's going to be great this Saturday. Look forward to that. And we might play some Monster Hunter World over on Twitch before then, so don't miss that. And I love your guys' faces so much. Very short beard stubble heart. It's coming back, boo. It's coming back. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.